Okay, it's been a long time since I made one. Sorry for the sun, but I'm out here in Oakland, which is in California. More expensive place to live. Anyway, here. Maybe you can see me better. Waiting for one of the roommates to get out of her doctor's appointment. And let's see, what else do I want to talk about? I don't want to talk about what's going on in Ukraine, but I support them. It's just everybody's jumping to conclusion and stop jumping to conclusions. Anyway, well, like I had my doctor's checkup the other day, it turned out really good. But let's see, so many things happened since I last did a video. Um, got to finally see my granddaughter after four and a half years, and she's growing up real quick. I don't know where they say that she's got, she's a typical kid, you know, she's busy, 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 busy. She might be, have attention deficit disorder, but I don't think she's, you know, but she needs her medication, and just the same, they've been putting her on medication. But, you know, I was glad to see her and her mother. You know, and I had no ill will towards me. Never did. You know, I didn't like how, you know, she went about keeping Hannah from us, but I wish she would continue to let us all see her because it's important. Uh, it got me a real ring. See that ring? I'm not flipping you all, okay? So you know. That's my ring. I just got it like last month. I mean, everything's going fine. Chris is at home, sick as a dog. Um, so when we get this done and over with, the better. <laughs> because it's not easy dealing with Minnie. She has her problems. And, you know, I try not to get mad at her. But... We've been hoping for a place of our own. It just hasn't panned out. You know, he wants to go back to Montana, which I don't blame him because, you know, I got attached to that town. You know, I raised, I raised my kid there. You know, all four of my kids were, you know, born there. But, you know, things happen. They happen for a reason. I just, you know, want him to seek medical help, make sure he's okay, you know. But he's a stubborn man. He needed surgery, and it took him, it took him like, let's see, since it got worse, it took him like five or six years before he decided and it was, you know, the surgery, he needed it bad. If he wouldn't have gotten it, he would have died. And he made it just, again, one more day. He happened, that happened when he had his appendix up, too. He waited one more day, you know. But that wasn't his fault when he was a kid. That was his uh, legal father's fault because he wouldn't okay it until, you know, the day before the certain the day before, you know. But well I'm doing fine, you know, we miss the house on beach in Fontana. You know, 
Chris has lost a few friends, you know, along the way. You know, I don't get to see my best friend, Lisa. I wish she and Kelly and Jason would come out and visit. But during this stupid pandemic, which by now they should have found it. Oops. I'm sorry. I can't edit that out either, so you don't have to do it. I just, you know, want to catch up. Let everybody know what's going on with me. Um, hey. Can't tell, but I might probably have some gray hair in there somewhere. <laughs> You know, life is all right, you know, and, and yeah, getting stuck at home most of the time, and, you know, it's not good, but, you know, it's, you got to do what you got to do to stay safe, you know, I haven't had the shots yet, and, you know, God willing, I won't get the, any of the virus, viruses or whatever. Because it's a real nasty way to die, I think. You know, but things happen for a reason. For those who believe the world's ending, no, it's not. Changes, yes. Ending, no. I don't think God would put kids through that to have them born and then, then die like when they're little kids. I don't think he would do that. But, you know, that's just me. You know, a lot, a lot of people may not believe in God, but I do, and, you know, I don't let it get to me, but, you know, I don't, I would like to know the answer why people ought to suffer like this, um, and why others don't. It's just ridiculous. Well, I've been on for seven minutes. As you see, my, my channel's unedited. I barely get to do anything on it, but, you know. I want to bring up a subject of a young man that passed away due to somebody in his school. His name was Kendrick Johnson. Look him up. No way did that young man get himself up there and in that mat. He was wrapped, he was in a mat that was wrapped up in the gym. So, you know, I don't believe that happened. I think somebody did something and there's a cover up and they, yes, they have a suspect in mind, but it's going to take time. And their poor family has been suffering because there's a lot more to the story, and if you go and look it up, you'll see what what they have on it. It's just not not really cool for that to have happened to that kid. He wasn't a gangbanger. He was, you know, into sports. You know, he was going to have a good life, but somebody cut it short. And somebody who cut it short, his father, is c covered it up as well as he could. But I think his father should be charged too. But Kendrick didn't act like, you know, you know, gangbangers that are around, you know, the big cities. He, he was, he was... From what, you know, I can tell from Mrs. Johnson saying, you know, he was a good kid. He did what he was supposed to. Yeah, he got into mischief, if they all do. You know, but he didn't deserve to die. I don't care if it was, you know, if Kendrick started the fight or not. He didn't deserve to die. You know, and that school should have been on its toes. But I think part of the film that was on the cameras blocked out somebody so they couldn't see who came out of that gym after. 
so that's about it. That, you know. And the West Memphis three gentlemen are still fighting for for their innocence. We know, you know, I don't think they did it. There was no evidence, no DNA. You know, there was DNA of other people. And someday, the person or persons that did it are going to find themselves up in prison for life. Or, depending on how the state goes, you know, and it's sad that those men had to end up pl going through an Alfred ple plead. And if you want to know what that is, look it up. Um, Damien Eccles, Jason Baldwin, and Jesse Miss Kelly were young kids. They were teenagers. And because they listened to heavy metal, which I did, I still do. I still will wear heavy metal stuff. This is my shirt, the Metallica, which is basically what Damien Eccles was into. So, let's keep good thoughts that the real killers will get caught and that we can, you know, those three young men, well, they're not so young, but, you know, they can get it cleared. You know, Damien missed out on his son growing up. The only thing that good came out of that was he met his wife. And, you know, she stuck by him all this time. Anyway, <laughs> let's see. I don't know if you guys are going to be making it through to the end, but thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, you know what this thing says subscribe. Um, I don't charge, and I don't, don't have a thing where you have to join with money. That's not why I'm doing it. Anyway, see you in the next video. Not guarantee of when, but we'll see. Alright, bye everybody.